What's up, everybody? Today we're going to be talking about the ketubah, the cup of the covenant. Hello, everybody. It's Eric from Trimmed and Burning, and today we're going to be talking about the ketubah, or the cup of the covenant. Last time we talked about the betrothal and how the father of the groom would choose the bride and then agree to a price called the mohar. And then that led into the next process we're going to be talking about, the ketubah, which was, again, the cup of the covenant. Now, this is where the bride and the groom would share a cup of wine to consummate the marriage covenant or the contract. So this was sort of like the engagement we do today. Now, the groom and the bride would get together and drink a cup of wine almost as part of the contract. Instead of signing a piece of paper, today ours is a little bit more informal and somebody just gets down on a knee usually and, and puts a ring on, right? And the ring symbolizes this. This was, instead of a ring, so to speak, there was the cup of wine here to consummate it, to kind of make it a legal contract that the bride and groom were to set to get married. But they were kind of considered married here already. Rather than engagement, they were kind of considered a bride and a groom, a husband and a wife, so to speak, and it was just going to be set up and established later on. Now, we saw this carried out by Jesus Christ when he shared the cup of wine with his disciples at the Last Supper. He was doing this to refer to the ketubah, the cup of the covenant, and his disciples probably understood this again, that it was the ancient Jewish wedding model, and Jesus Christ was proving that this model all pointed to him and what he was going to do for us. 1 Corinthians 11.25 says, In the same way also he took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. So this verse right here is pointing to the concept that him drinking the wine here was to symbolize himself as the groom and the disciples being the church as the bride. We know that the church of Jesus Christ is referred to as the bride. That's what we symbolize. And Jesus refer is referred to as the groom or the bridegroom. But this, him drinking the cup of wine with his disciples was the cup of the covenant, the ketubah in the ancient Jewish wedding process. So thanks again for watching. As we continue to learn about the ancient Jewish wedding, we're going to talk about the baton and the gifts for the bride next time. But if you like this video, please click like, make sure you subscribe to our channel and even share it on your page or your, with your family and friends so they can learn more about the ancient Jewish wedding and Jesus Christ and how he's their Messiah. Uh, but thanks again for watching everybody. Until next time, I'm Eric and keep your lamps trimmed and burning. Almost over. Almost over, almost over.